some plant quests. Um, are you going to play? We'll probably bring a, cl uh, a kernel corn out so we can do the butter barrage. Okay. Uh, yeah, good see idea. See if we can take out. Uh, yeah, okay. 50 zombies is a corn. Uh, and so. Oh, on Coliseum. Mm, we're not showing that. We're not up showing today. that, so we won't pick that up. Next okay. time, though. But these are brand new quests again. This is more like what the quests are going to be like in the final game. You know, we, we had a very limited number of quests in the beta, of course. Do you want to play at this point? Do you sure. Want to go? Yeah, I can get in there. Okay. Here we uh, go. I'm going to hand it over to Owen for so two seconds. So, real quick for everyone just joining us now. Um, Don't look at the garage. Oh, sorry. <laughs> this is live from Popcap. <laughs> um, Owen Johnson, Gary Clay. And Roland Cox over there. Uh, we're doing this every Friday from our studio now. It's back up and running at 10 a.m. Pacific time. Uh, so please continue to tune in. Let us know what you guys want to see. Um, all right, and now I'm not going to stop talking and get into it. So we're getting asked a question, which is, what do the stars do? Um, so I'll answer that while you jump into ops. Um, OK, we're going to do solo ops first, actually, before I answer that question, which is a brand new uh, Gameplay mode for Garden Warfare. So if you want to just play on your own, um, yeah, good idea. If you want to just play on your own, um, then you are absolutely able to do so. Um, and you can even bring in a teammate, which we're going to do right now. So let's let this load up. Okay, while the RV is taking off, I'll talk about stars. So you guys may have seen that some of the quests that Owen has just picked up are going to give him stars, and we had we cheated and gave ourselves 200 stars. You can hold a maximum of 200 stars um, at any one time, and stars are just used. Hold on to the screen for a minute, actually. Okay. Um, stars are just used in Backyard Battleground uh, to unlock things, so opening chests and other things we haven't talked about. Um, so you're going to only use them in Backyard Battleground, and they're used for discovery. Um, so you're going to want to get those if you want to find all the secrets of Backyard Battleground. So the screen we're on right now, not this screen. <laughs> we got this. Oh. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. The screen we're on right now is inside Crazy Dave's RV. So you can see that we're over the trap door. We're ready to get dumped into our level. And this is a way of choosing um, all of your different abilities and your different characters. So right. I don't think people have seen that one before. People love all the stuff Let's going go in. on in the background. There we go. Here we go. Yeah, I was, I was doing the, the plant bob. <laughs> the little one. <laughs> all right, so this is the first ever look at Sandy Sands. Now, Sandy Sands is from the Seeds of Time biome. So, as you know, like, just like in Garden Warfare 1, we have different biomes, different themes, areas. But this is a, um, you know, one of our co-op slash team vanquish maps. So, um, what Owen's doing right now is he's uh, using a new feature for Garden Warfare 2, um, which is uh, the ability to have additional characters and then hot swap between them. Let's bring back a classic character as well. I think we need a little healing Do you want, action. Yeah, maybe uh, uh, let's go for the uh, the Sunfarer because it, it's a bit themed. All right. Cool. All right. So I think we should plant. A I was just going to point out, uh, you'll notice that you said your enemies grow stronger, so as you bring yeah. in more players, uh, yeah. the enemies do get more challenging. Do you want to show them hot swapping real fast? Sure. So any moment in the game, Owen can just hit up on the D-pad, um, and he will, oh look, we just got an achievement for doing that. Nope. Um, <laughs> yeah, just don't ignore the achievements, you're not yeah. supposed to know about those. Um, so uh, yeah, you can hot swap at any moment in the game, um, and basically <laughs> take over the AI characters. You can set up your own combos. You can, you can that, make some cool time explosions with... Rose oh, and yeah. pea shooter. Exactly. All right, it's where should we where should we? I think we we'll go awesome. for B because it's going to give you a really nice view of this level. A vista. Yeah. Photo up. All right. So definitely let me know what you guys think. Oh, and don't forget about Gary, the map. When you're hot swapping, you're leveling everybody up. That's as well. right. Yeah. So it's a really good way of leveling your characters all together because as you switch to a different character, it's going to level. Right. Let's put down some potted plants. We definitely opened a few, but I'm not sure how many we've got. So yeah. this might be a little bit challenging. Okay, we've got, got some. Who do, who do you want? Okay. I just, well, I'm going to work with what I'm given here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, so so one of the, the things that we this. need to do is uh, get some uh, vanquishes with the Butter Barrage. That's one of your quests. All right. What other quests we got? Let's pull it real fast. Okay. Okay, we've got um, 50, 15 all-stars. So look for those all-stars and also 50 zombies as corn. Okay. okay. That's what we're going to be trying to do. And that's going to give you a pip as well. Um, we Ooh. need more pips so, so we can get towards pips. yeah, so we can get towards our double XP. So you can see that we're on just times one XP right now. The zombies are coming in. So for some of you guys, this might be the first time you've ever seen um, Garden Ops. Uh, so there's new bosses in Garden Ops, uh, a bunch of new features. So we'll see how far Owen can get, and maybe you can even take it out. Wow, you got another achievement from hero to zero. <laughs> <laughs> so people are asking how quick 
How quickly can you hot swap? So let's go. Instantly. Boom. Boom. Just boom. show it. Boom. Like, it's boom. like that. Boom. It's amazing. Yeah, really, really fast. Uh, and it makes you super effective <laughs> if you're playing on your own or you're trying to do a specific challenge. It's super um, effective. You can also... Uh, yeah, it's super effective. Um, you can also choose multiples of the same type. So if you want to have like... Uh, this, oh, 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 let me talk about this. So look, look, into the, look into the storm. So this is a, a brand eye. new feature in Garden Warfare 2, dynamic weather in some of the maps. This is a sandstorm that will stop your vision from being so awesome across the entire map. Um, and it gives you a couple of different, you know, play styles. You can still see, you know, where your where your friends are, but it makes it a little bit more difficult to see the enemy. Mm -hmm. So this is a brand brand new feature, dynamic weather. And this also carries. Uh, same thing happens too when you play this map in multiplayer modes. Yeah, it, absolutely. So this will happen on this map in multiplayer as well as in uh, solo, which we're playing right now. <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying looking herd. at the dynamic weather. I heard weather. them goats. <laughs> oh, excellent goat fire there. Well done, Owen. Excellent. Goat that was fire. a. That was a herd of goats. Yeah. One of the things that we're changing... Oh, wait, um, we went over this last time. It's not a herd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One of the things that we're changing uh, from feedback in the beta is actually around uh, Rose's Arcane Enigma. Um, so we got a bunch of feedback that it felt a little bit underpowered. Um, and so what we're doing is actually um, we're making it take less stamina to do the explosion attack in Arcane Enigma. So in the beta, you could only get two, and they're probably going to be three in the final game. Um, so making that a little bit more... Um, uh, giving it a bit more capability on it from an offensive nature, which is cool. I'm glad that we got the sandstorm so early in the map. That yeah, was that cool was just cool. to show people. That was wicked. Oh, no. oh he's got, got a little bit. That's yeah. a, that's actually one of the things we're changing. Um, so we got a bit a bit of feedback um, on, on that. So what happened to Owen just then um, was he was hitting into the the. Uh, husk cop ability and he got hit by an enemy and so it continued the husk cop but it, his reticle was firing in a different direction than what he expected. We got a bunch of feedback from people that that didn't feel good. Um, so what will happen now is if you're doing a husk cop and someone is able to shoot you um, and basically give you knockback, it'll cancel the husk cop instead of just carrying on and shooting off into the distance. Which I think is another great addition the dev team have done taking feedback from the beta. Really glad we did that. It's, it's going to really improve gameplay as we get into our lock. You're doing great, mate. Let's, let's see if we can uh, take out that tombstone. You've got a bonus objective there. All right. I'm looking um, also, yeah, a couple of people saying that's great on the husk cop because it, it felt a little bit glitchy at first. Yeah, that is fixed. Another beta fix. Boom. <laughs> that's right, why we have beaters. It is. It is, Rowan. You're 100% correct, mate. Um, and that is why I love our dev team because those guys really listen and really get you know make those changes that are going to really. It's amazing. Um, the cause we had a look at some of the stuff that um, the dev team has has done yesterday, and it's amazing. You know, just the little yeah. refinements to, yeah. to to speed or to damage or to, to health. You know, it makes such a difference to yeah. gameplay as well. So the game, just to clarify. The build that we're playing right now, mm. um, so the version of the game we're playing right now, does not have the beta changes in yet. Mm -hmm. um, this is uh, an earlier version that the dev team are working on a new version now, um, which will come with a patch um, at our launch. So just a little patch that will change some of the different elements. Um, and again, that will be available uh, as soon as EA Access is available, um, you will be able to get that. <laughs> well done on the bonus objective. And we'll put the, Thank you. Thank um, you. the, the changes up oh. on our blog, and I think Justin's going to talk about it as well on his channel as well. I'll put yeah. that we might be getting some of the dev team down on Live and PopGap next week, um, and then maybe we could do a, a bit of a question and answer around some of the changes that they did. Okay, you've got a special wave, improvised armor. <laughs> Look at that newspaper, perfect armor. <laughs> <laughs> Heavily fortified. Heavily fortified indeed. I'm gonna pick up my laptop real fast so I can see what people are saying in the chat as well. Oh yeah, that's right. That's something that should be noted. If you if you use the uh, the Godify ability and you hit armor, they don't actually turn into a goat. Mm, I didn't know that. Oh, well. uh, some people are asking why you're not using a mouse and keyboard, and I will answer this question: Try using a mouse and keyboard on camera. <laughs> <laughs> You'd yeah. be leaning over on the desk right now. It'd be the worst worst presentation ever. You can of course use a mouse and keyboard on the PC. We're just using a wireless 360 controller because yeah. it makes it super easy to present. Exactly. It's, it's down to presentation because, you know, if I was using a mouse, the sensitivity would be pretty high and be doing some, some quick spins and no one wants to watch that. <laughs> so a couple of people are asking, did we open the packs already and will, be, will we be opening more packs? And the answer is yes! 
we, we did open them and yes, we'll be, we'll be opening, opening more. <laughs> so we asked the dev team to give us a bunch of coins so we could open a few packs. Um, what we did, we start with a brand new account that just had character transfer. So, you know, it would, it would be what your account would look like if you'd unlocked all of the characters in Garden Warfare 1. You'd be looking like this when you start, uh, you know, your game. So we've unlocked a couple of imps. We unlocked the Pylon Imp and Little Drake so far. Uh, we unlocked Electro Citron and we've got a few different character stickers for I love, Captain Flame I love Face. Drake. He is so good. He is great, mate, great. We don't have it. We need to open a few more reinforcement packs, yeah, I, I think, because so. you're going to need these as we go through. Um, so we're going to just to recap on what we're going to be doing today. So we talked a little bit about uh, the changes that came from Beta, and we confirmed that we're going to be putting those changes on the blog. Oop. This looks like an okay wave. Boss oh, wave. Yeah, for those coins. who don't know, in in uh, both solo ops, garden ops, um, Ooh, graveyard gods. ops, oof, you get a uh, boss wave every five waves. So, um, yes, so the next thing that we're going to do after playing, so this is a brand new map for those of you who are new to the stream. We've never revealed this map before. We just saw some of the dynamic weather in Garden Warfare 2. Uh, we saw a oh, sandstorm boy. come through, and now we are in a boss wave. Um, what we're going to do next is we're going to play solo play on Great White North. So for those of you that missed the stream last week, this will be a complete reveal to you guys. Um, what I am going to tell you right now is this, though. We're going to play it, but we're not going to show you the end game because I want you guys to experience that for yourself for the first time. So if we get all the way to the end game, we'll probably quit back to the backyard battleground so we don't want to win. Any additional questions, Roland, that well, I, I just I want to say we've got 835 people watching us. So thank, thank you so you much guys. for watching guys. Really appreciate it. That's awesome. Again, I want to say thanks in the back to Sean and also Adam vs. Zombies who are running the cameras and making this stream seamless. So as you'll notice, what I'm trying to do right now is is bounce between my characters and use their abilities uh, on this, this Garg here. Um, yeah, so uh, basically allowing you to take him down faster. I do have a few questions, Gary. Yes, uh, I, I'd, I'd happily know. answer a question. So we got... Uh, Whoa, the sandstorm! The sandstorm's happening! Everybody stop. Look at the dynamic weather. <laughs> I'm trying to survive here. Look how beautiful that looks. I'm it's sorry. Amazing. I'm sorry, but the the, the like sun go. coming through the sand, it just looks amazing. Oh, this game it looks so good. So we got a question. These I don't know if we know these one, but um, is the jackhammer for the engineer going to uh, run longer in GW2 than 1? So if we buff that power. So no, it, in the beta it actually did run longer, uh, but that's going to be that's actually turned back to Garden Warfare 1 length. Yeah, so in Garden Warfare 1 the jackhammer lasted for 15 seconds, I believe, and in the beta we let it last for 20 seconds as a test, and we're going to be going back to the same length as Garden Warfare 1. So good question. And then I got a question about Plasma P. Is Plasma P coming back? Plasma P is coming Aye. back. We could uh, we could get Plasma P out later in the stream if you'd like to see. Yes, let's do that. Okay. Um, um, question about customization. Um, will customized items from PVG GW1 transfer over? They will not. And the reason for that is there's almost no customization items that we're in Garden Warfare 1, in Garden Warfare 2. Um, and also, as, you, as you've seen, if you hot swap just real quick to sit down for me. Oh, I have such good shots right here. <laughs> okay, okay. okay, well, I'll, I'll, I'll let, let her first. do it. I'll let her do it. Oh, I can't switch after that, sorry. My mistake. Yeah, you, you, this, this was too, too nice. Yeah. yeah, the opportunity. Okay, but that's enough. So all right. We've, <laughs> so we've replaced them with well. all new customizations. Is well, no, I, I, here we go. So yeah. the point is this. We have brand new um, customization items. So this is an example of a super rare that is animated. So different super rare items are animated in the game, um, which just looks amazing. It looks completely different um, from Garden Warfare 1. And that's one of the main reasons that we've completely redesigned the customization. Which is awesome. In fact, it might be cool to switch to another character and maybe look at Citron from their, from their angle, because then you'll get to see the swinging light bulbs and all the coolness of that. Wow, this this is ooh, it's getting, very, very awesome. Getting you're getting holding up the garden really well. Yeah, look, so you can see, look how fabulous Citron looks with his Sunfire super down. rare customization uh, sombrero. Sunflower's down. I gotta go get her. Oh, no, Rose oh, did Rose it for you. Yeah. And that is how great it is to play with the AI. They, they are all over it for you guys. Um, and now let's have Sunflower heal Rose. Oh, they know what they're doing. It hardly needs you to play. <laughs> <laughs> Only holding them back. A couple of people in the chat saying hello to Adam versus Zombies. Um, I don't know if he's also in the chat on his phone or anything. Maybe you could. Yeah, he is. Boom. Bloop. Bloop. Oh, tell me that wasn't. Me. So there was a question. Will you put the 50 uh, heal regen? 
Um, so I'm getting into a little bit of spoilers around the, the uh, beta updates. Um, if you revive a character now following the beta feedback, he will come back with 50% health. Um, that, the only exception to that is the scientist and the sunflower who are the healer classes. If you revive someone with the scientist or the sunflower, you come back with 100% health, which is pretty cool. So it really gives you uh, a reason to play your healer classes and be as effective as you can for your team. And to look after Sandstorm them. rolling in again. Look up, look up. Let's take a look at this. Oh man, the weather looks so nice on this map. I really, really like it. Again, if you're brand new to the stream, thank you for joining. We're showing off a brand new map called Sandy Sands. Uh, we're also showing off some of the dynamic weather features in Garden Warfare 2, which we haven't shown before. Um, you know, so we can, you'll, you'll see these different things happen in multiplayer as well as in co-op. Thank you, little good crew. Fanfare. We've got a little booping channel there by from Adam. Bloop. <laughs> booping us. Nice. I wonder if we've got some questions. Can you have crazy settings in the opt mode? No. Crazy settings in solo play multiplayer. And that makes sense because that's sort of like your customized yeah. area that you and your friends can mess around with. Absolutely. Can the rows go to five bosses? <laughs> uh, no, you can't go to five the bosses. Um, absolutely not. So here, one of the questions we get frequently is PC minimum specs. Um, mm. Do you know when we're posting those, Owen? Uh, yeah, next week. Next week you will see the PC minimum specs. Um, we're not running on a particularly good PC right now. It's kind of a mid-range. And as you can see, it looks amazing. Um, so yes, next week you'll see all the details on min specs for PC. You heard it here, folks. <laughs> Has Spikeweed been changed, Gary? I don't think there is a change to Spikeweed. Actually, there, there was a beta change to Spikeweed. Um, I can't remember what it said in the notes now, but definitely check out the notes next week. But uh, there was actually a change to how effective it was against... Let me see if I can find those notes. I think, yeah, I think it was around um, some of the abilities. It wasn't trapping people properly in the beta, and now they fixed so that. They fixed that yeah, so basically the, it's going to be more effective than it was in the beta, is the, is the takeaway. Yeah. But again, wait till next week to take a look. We've we've really, really well. We, the dev team, have really, really spent an incredible amount of time going through the, all the data that you guys, um, you know, gave us on forums and and through playing the game for the beta. And they've made an incredible number of changes um, that will be there at launch, of course. And of course, a reminder to everyone who's new to the stream, and and even if you're new to the Garden Warfare. Um, all of our DLC will be free for Garden Warfare, so that you know we're committed to doing these tuning fixes, making sure the game feels as good as it can. Uh, great multiplayer shooter, and also you know giving people oh special wave sky guys, this is a new wave, isn't it? Um, and uh, it is. and making sure that all that DLC is free, so we can keep the community together with all of our new content. Look at all those guys. <laughs> okay, I couldn't find. I think that's in a really detailed note, Gary. The, uh, yeah, I think it's in the super detailed yeah. notes. Uh, we're going to give really, really, very, very, very super detailed notes. Um, so if you guys want to get right down to the speed and velocity of each projectile that the characters fire, we are going to give you that to look at. Um, because we made a bunch of changes to things like that as well, which makes a huge difference to balancing. I've got a question about the Yeti Chomper. Yes, mate. Um, is he the only Chomper with a ranged attack? Because he's got these little snowball these. Can we talk about that? Mm. Secrets. I don't know. I, I, I say we call that one secrets. And secrets. Uh, I think that's a secret. Um, it's a really, really good question. The question was. <laughs> that was Did you see funny. That? Uh, the question was, is the Yeti Chomper the only Chomper with a ranged attack? Now I think he's the only Chomper with a primary ranged attack, and that's all I'm going to say. Yep. Sounds good. You heard it here first, Thanks, guys. guys. So, uh, I so what do people think of the map? Right I'd now. love to get some feedback for the community around what they think about Sandy So they were Sands. very much complimenting it earlier on. Oh, that's very nice. It. Do you want to do a little tour around with uh, Citron maybe in his ball and just, just walk around the map a little bit so people can get a bit of a sure. feel? So I love the elevation in this map. Yeah, there's lots, especially as you go like further into the map. And there's a lot of, it's kind of really close quarters as well. Oh, are you going to get a super guard wave? Oh, no. We, you did good. There's lots of channels to control, you know, fire, fire control points yeah. and things like oh, this. Oh, that's a new bus. We've got so one of the new buses for Garden Warfare 2 uh, is the uh, far future Giga Gargantua. I should probably get back to the base. <laughs> yeah, look, look, just look at this. Go down here a little bit and look to your right. Look at how nice this map looks. Oh, oh, it's so nice looking. Oof, oof. 
We, we did a little bit of CG. 10 out of 10 for the map, needs more sandstone. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. We'll pass that on. I love the sandstone, I think it makes it super cool. I, yes. love, the, I love the lighting it on So we got a request for the, uh, for the zombies to be mummies on the map. Oh, that yeah, would that be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. Like a spawn oh, look at that guy, just healing him up. Oh, so out. that's one of the changes as well, and we'll, see, we'll show this in all the notes, but... Um, Citron's uh, beam weapon is going to um, last a little bit less time, um, and oh. we're going we're gonna to reduce the time. You just really don't like going. Uh, <laughs> so we're going to reduce the t amount of time you can hold it down for before it overheats, because it felt a little bit, as you can see, you can go for quite a long time. Um, and also the uh, peel shield is going to, um, it won't won't re reduce quite as much damage as it did in the detail, because it could There's a lot of feedback anything. about the shield. Yeah. Yeah, being, especially with the, um, Electromagnetic grenade combos. People had a lot of feedback for us about. There's a lot of changes things. happening to the imp. Uh, you'll you'll see that as you go through, and I think people will be very pleased with the changes. Uh, the imp car uh, is going to have a reduction in range and damage, so you can't just run into a base and shoot everyone across, you know, the entire map. Um, so I think the the dev team have really heard you guys. It's going to be some amazing pieces of feedback. Oh, uh, oh yes! Look at the prime. Look at it. Is it? Is that the Gargantua Prime? That is the Gargantua Prime. It is, yeah. Yeah. Man, look at him. He's just prime. Old Great hot swap. There you go. Oh, you did the quest. You got the Butter Barrage quest nice. completed. So you got three stars. Nice. And the base, while well, hopefully my friendlies are taking out the bosses. We've only right. got six seconds on Colonel Corn if you need him. Oof. So, players are asking. He is to see, out for the round. To out. see some of the imps if we play, um, if, if we play with zombies now. So if we want to see the drake in the the, uh, the cone, in, we can. Okay, we can see, we can see that. So uh, we've got a little comment here that says um, the dev team listened, nerfed imp, and did it all correctly. Killer dev team, absolutely. <laughs> Important question: Is there going to be ability upgrades for the new characters? Uh, you'll have to wait and see. You have to wait and see. <laughs> but uh, I would say. Maybe. <laughs> the best kind of secret. There's so many secrets, guys. You, you, honestly, there's so much more stuff. Um, you know, we, we, we don't want to ruin all, all the stuff uh, before you guys get to play, but put it this way, you're not going to be disappointed. disappointed. Oh, boy. I, I, you know, I really like it when he gets really angry and, and like skates towards you like this. <laughs> Here he comes. Oh, look at that. Look at him close the gap. Oh, yeah. oh he's such a cool boss. <laughs> this little guy, what's he doing? Get out of here. What, mate? Look at that little goat. Oh, look, it was an outhouse zombie as well. We gotta get this guy, he's right at the base. Yeah. Look how nice it looks. Ooh. He's so, so exciting, I can't even look at the chat. Oh, and down he goes. Yeah, Roland, any more questions coming our way? So people are asking where they can leave feedback. I'm just gonna drop that link into the chat. Good man, good man. Um, and then yeah, we're, we're still listening. That, that's a really good point. So don't feel like if you haven't given your feedback at this point, then it's too late. The team will be continually tuned. Um, you know, we'll be doing it after launch, um, coming into our launch. What we're confirming today is the things that we have already changed oh, oh. that will be there for the launch of the game. But please continue to give the feedback, um, but also look at the patch notes to make sure you're not giving feedback that has already been addressed. Otherwise, uh, you know, it'll uh, just be a waste of your time. Yeah, no one likes to waste time. All right, so we got through wave 10. Congratulations, Owen. Thank you. And so Owen was showing off um, our new hot swapping and solo play on a brand new map, Sandy Sand. So for those of you that join the stream late, uh, Owen can hot swap like this. Yep. Hey, instant yep. hot swapping to any character, which allows you to create amazing, amazing strategies you play um, in garden ops and also graveyard ops. I think it's a great addition to the game, especially for people who might be playing on their own or for, oh, show the sandstorm, show the sandstorm. Might be playing on their own or a little bit later. Extraction during sandstorm? Yeah, and oh. so this is pretty cool. Check Maximum this out. Let's have a proper look into the sky a little bit. <laughs> oh, he blocked it. Let's have a look. Don't worry about these guys. Let's have a look in the sky. Yeah, I want to I want to show off some of this awesome looking dynamic weather that you get on some of the maps in Garden Warfare 2. Great, great new feature. So I, we, my favorite question so far this is from an old school Popcat fan, is can we uh, make a Destructor in from San Aquarium? I don't know, I'm gonna put this, <laughs> wow. so for people who don't know that what, is, I'm wow. gonna put the link into the Wiki, Wikia page, yeah. you can have a look at in this old school dude, yeah, okay. and see if you agree. So I just got a comment in the chat from Van Hoosabot that says, 
Um, I think a sausage mech sounds delicious. Um, so if, if you haven't seen the rejected Zomboss mech ideas on uh, Jeremy's Twitter, I would thoroughly recommend checking it out. He's at Van Hoosabot on Twitter, um, and you'll see some of the ideas that were, were rejected from Zombo. We're going to try and find a, that tweet. Yeah, there was a recent one, I believe, that had to do with yarn. Yeah, little yarny mech. Oh, you did well here, man. 11,000 coins. Good All stuff. Right. You got extra coins for your bonus objective. Remember, always get Friends were left objective. behind. Yeah, the sunflower went down. Oh, oh these are amazing, Gary. I was too busy looking at the weather. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it back up, Argo. Okay.